In the recent months, I've been working very hard with a number of students on my online coaching with regards to weight transfer. And I was kind of grown up in a slightly different era where when I was older, when I was younger even, we'd get to the top of the backswing and we always have that kind of feeling that we drop the club into the slot as we bump the left hip or the lead hip towards the lead foot. And that wasn't, that wasn't often a terminology used whilst I was growing up, was get to the top of your backswing, bump the hips out of the way so you can drop the club into the slot and then you get your rotation through. And it's interesting how golf coaching and golf in general has changed and the kind of the bump from the top of the backswing is no longer it's no longer allowed. It's not the it's not the done thing anymore, is it? Now we talk a lot more about the kind of pressure in the feet. Today's video I'm going to give you a bit of an overlap of those two because at the end of the day Every golfer on the planet, Rory McIlroy included, when you watch him from front on, will have a movement, a lateral movement of the lead hip to the lead foot. Because at the end of the day, we start in the centre and we do finish over the lead foot as we hit our shot. So I think it's really important that golfers and amateurs understand the difference in these terminologies because we get so kind of obsessed with the with the pressure in the feet. Now, I the way I coach it is actually I do coach it from a, a pressurized perspective in terms of where the pressure in your feet should be at different points of the swing, but that also could be countered with oh where's my body weight at, at such a speed at such a time. But also it's kind of how do we move the body weight? And that's where pressure comes in. Also, in terms of the, the movement from the top of the backswing, how do the hips get in front and towards that lead foot? So all of that will be explained in today's video. So make sure you stay tuned because this is packed with information that can definitely help you improve your ball striking, whether you're in the fairway, the thick rough, whether you've got a wedge or a four iron or a driver, it all is relevant to every single scenario you're gonna play on the golf course. Now, before we get started, if you are brand new to the channel, please do drop down, hit that subscribe button. 65% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if we can get that at least down to 50-50, that would be an incredible improvement. So thank you so much for watching these videos. As I said, I started my kind of golfing journey with the, the information brought to me that the, the lead hip will push over to the lead foot as I drop the club into the slot and get my rotation. The best players in the world, they laterally move their body from the center to the lead side. That will never change because at the end, unless we start to coach the body not actually moving anywhere towards the lead side, there's always gonna be that lateral movement. Now, in terms of pressure and weight transfer, what's the difference? So for me, the way I like to kind of coach my students is imagine you're stood on a set on some scales, okay? Arguments say, let's say there's 100 kilos. If you just sit into your posture, you're 100 kilos, okay? What I want you to try and do as you get to the top of the backswing, I want you to rotate away from the target, but I want you to try and add weight to that 100 kilos. I want you to feel that once you get to the top of the backswing, you're at 110. Now, you're thinking, what on earth are you talking about? How do you make that feel? Now, the feel is a pushing down as you rotate. That's pressure. Now, what, when I do that, if I, take, if I start now, 100 kilos, 50-50 body weight between, between my feet. If I swing up to the top of the backswing and now I feel like I'm 110. I feel like 110 because I've dropped down into my posture a little bit. I've rotated downwards into my feet. And in terms of weight distribution, I'm, I'm now probably 55-45 favoring my back foot. But the pressure in my legs has got greater than when I was at setup. So I've got more pressure here than I do here. I can feel it more, there's more tension. Maybe another better word for it is tension. Pressure, tension, weight there. I feel really like there's, I'm loaded into my lower body. I'm in a really kind of powerful position. Not only do I feel pressure and tension here, I feel it through my body, I feel it through my chest. And I've, once I get to the top of the backswing, I feel it through my arms as well. So that's my increase of pressure. I feel like once I get to the top of the backswing, loads of tension, 
compared to where I, where I was at setup. That way now, I feel like I've got my 110 kilos, I've added weight, I can really feel it in my feet and in my quads. Now, whether you've got good flexibility, poor flexibility or not, every single golfer does rotate into the backswing. But what I see a lot of, and this is a really, really key point, okay? What I see a lot of golfers doing is actually rising up this lead, this trail side. So as the body starts to rotate away from the ball and the target, we try and get more of a swing. Everyone tries to swing it longer and faster. And in doing so, does that. So notice how I've stood up a little bit. My, my trail hip has got higher than where it started. Now I've got less tension than when I started my golf swing. So now I feel like I'm at 90 kilos. It's a great way of losing weight. So as you're starting to rotate up to the top of the backswing, I've lost my I've lost my tension, I've lost my pressure. Okay, I've lost pressure. My body weight is still 55, 45. Okay, so as I've got to the top, I've still got the same body weight position, but a totally different pressurized position. Okay, so I've started at 100 kilos, I'm at 90. There's nothing there. I can there's, there's no power. It's just a, it's just a move. It's just a it's just a generic golf move that doesn't it's not going to give me anything. Okay, so what I want you to try and feel, and this is the analogy I use a lot, is a corkscrew. So imagine you're opening a bottle of wine. Okay, for those that are under 18 or 21, that's your parents. So when you get to the top, when you're starting to move away, I want you to feel like you're in a corkscrew motion with this trail hip. So I want you to feel as this trail hip rotates away it doesn't gain any height. If anything, feel like it drops towards the top of the backswing. It actually won't, but the feeling is that it's gonna drop. You're gonna be able to keep this, this trail knee bent there. Now, for golfers that extend the trail knee, I'm still in a pressurized position. I haven't lost posture. So that is not a game changer. It's not, it's not massively important. It's preferred to stay a little bit more flexed, but it's not massively important. It's not like if you can't do it, turn the tip off, it's a game, it's a game changer. So what I want you to try and do, we're gonna feel like we're gonna rotate down into this trail side. The bum cheek is gonna feel like it's turning down towards the target. This is where I've got my body weight, 40, 55, 45, but I've increased the pressure into my feet, okay? That's the real key one here. Increased pressure, body weight, 55, 45. Now that's the backswing. What on earth do you do with the downswing? Guys, so far, if you're enjoying this video, if you've already picked up some information, please do hit that like button, share it with your friends as well, because after years of coaching and mentoring some of the best coaches in the world, you do pick up a thing or two. So it's nice for me to be able to pass that information on to you. So as you come into the downswing, what we're going to try and feel now is the body weight is pressurized here. It's 55 here, remember. What, we're going to, what I try and get my students to feel is that the trail knee and the trail ankle go towards my lead ankle. Okay. What we're doing here is changing the pressure position to the lead side. Okay, so we're changing the pressure into the lead side. Now watch what happens to my lead hip. Where's it gone? It's laterally moved towards the target. So now my body weight has moved towards the target. So we've got lateral, pressurized position, weight position, okay? So as the body weight moves towards the target because I'm moving my pressure to this side, okay? So it gets to the top of the backswing. The simple one for me is this trail knee, okay? Trail knee moves to the lead ankle and that hip will move out of the way, okay? So that's the key thing for this video. As you get to the top of the backswing, trail knee pushes to lead ankle. And then from that position, the body weight is now on this lead side. We turn as best we can through the golf shot. That is an absolute key move 
from the top of the backswing. How you transition, how you move the pressure, the weight, and how you move lateral from the top of the backswing is really important. Because this is definitely something I work on a lot with all of my students, because it's really important to try and understand the difference between pressure, weight transference, and lateral. At the end of the day, it all happens together. And I think nowadays as well, we do get mixed up in all these different types of terminologies and yeah, this, the, the game is evolving and the, the terminologies are evolving, but really the, 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 the golf swing hasn't changed that much. We can go all the way back to Ben Hogan and the way he moved his body and Mo, Morgan, Mo Norman. There's so much that we can learn from golfers of like 70, 80, 90, 100 years ago. And if you really dissect it, it hasn't changed a huge amount based on how much the terminology has changed. How much we understand the golf swing now is so much better as well. And everyone watching this video, you probably, you've probably got questions already and maybe it's something that you've heard elsewhere and that maybe it's something I've missed. So there is so much information out there, but I think if you can take these simple little drills, I say simple, to try and get the understanding of this trail hip, rotate down into it. So pressurize and rotate down into it. So body weight's here pressure's here, pressure into the ground overall is higher than it was at setup. And then once we get to the top of that backswing, we then move the pressure from here diagonally down into the lead side, and then it works back up. Okay, I often say it's almost like, if you think of a, think of the, the, the a letter N, take your setup, nice and neutral, it's gonna move up this right, the trail side, is going to move diagonally. Obviously, it can't do because there's nothing really there. But diagonally is the feeling. Because I'm using I'm using this trail knee to get down to this lead ankle. And as we come into the golf ball, we're working it pressurized back up through the golf shot. Okay, so a letter N is the way I think about it. So there's different ways that you can interpret it. But don't be don't be afraid to think I've got a little bit of lateral movement. Because I do see a lot of golfers and they message me on Skillist and they go, I'm too lateral, I'm too lateral. And I'm looking at it going, you need to be more lateral. Like there's, the terminology can sometimes be really, really confusing. So to get back into this now, set up here. Remember, we're at 100 kilos. We're gonna rotate down and into the trail side. I'm at 110 kilos, I'm loaded. I'm powerful, okay? I'm loaded in my lower body, but I'm loaded with my arms as well as I get to the top of the backswing. As I get into that position there, I'm gonna pressure from this trail knee down to the lead ankle is the feeling. And then I'm gonna work it straight back up again. Okay, so that's the nice smooth motion there, back up again. Some of the feel, it's got a bit of Got a divot in my eye. A couple of little things you're going to feel because you'll feel like you're mo you're losing height. A lot of golfers are going to feel like you're going to hit the ground before the ball. You're not going to hit the ground before the ball unless you just rotate down and stay there. This this position is getting you ready to be able to turn through the golf shot. If you're a golfer that finishes in this position, then you can do this. If you really struggle with the flexibility through the golf ball you're gonna struggle with this movement because you might be able to do half of it, but not the other. So I would say the majority of golfers do finish in a follow through position facing the target after they've hit the golf shot, which means you can do this move. So it's just really feeling pressure. See how I'm kind of dropping and turning. So club on, hands on club, drop and turn. There you go, okay? That's the feel for pressure and a nice move on the way through. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you next time.